Sand Mole Hide Vest. Requires light armor to use. Nobody has light armor yet. So nobody will put it on quite yet. While it is nice to have a lot of armor, if you have negative evasion, it makes it quite a bit easier for enemies to hit you. Basically, there's a... I believe how the game works is... You have a generic chance to hit. And depending on just the RNG, depending on the dice roll, you will... Depending on your dice roll, you'll hit. Now, evasion, I think, is used to decrease that dice roll. Could be wrong, but it gets worse. Are these guys immune to poison? They are not immune to poison, but standing here running against them is probably from suicide. And I'd much rather my characters not die. So Finland still needs to level up. We found more ammunition, that's good. What we'll do is we will put our backs to this place where we know nobody can get in from, get out of this room, and we'll go ahead and level up. Now we're going to be a water mage, so we want to, even though we haven't found any real water magic that we can use, we're going to want to put points into water. However, we also know that having high concentration, especially at least level 3, will allow us to... will basically enable us to... It, it will basically enable us to uh, gain increased regeneration as well as having just more mana in general. But we are a water mage, so we're going to try and put points into water magic. So we're going to quick save and then head down this hole. Okay, so our torch is dead at this point. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. And we will strike up another torch. I don't believe the game stops when you are in map mode, by the way. I believe it is still quite active. One of the things I do like is that we know that the size of each area is limited. And I do like that he doesn't suggest that there is a finite number of areas. He just... the designers have just infinite little maps here. So I like that quite a bit. As we can see, we are here. We want to see if we can find anything here, if possible, not fall down pits. Because in this game you can become injured. If you're injured you have to use a healing potion. There's an item in the game that actually lets you climb down pits, which we will look for. I'm pretty sure he is immune to lightning, and it seems as though he also has a turning attack. That's not necessarily very well for us, as he seems to hit like a truck, as we see when he did 30 damage in one hit. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give his shield to, to Prander here, even though it reduces his hit points. His helmet is heavy armor, so he can't use that. His skull cleaver axe is quite a bit better than the torch. So we'll give that to him. Instead, we will give Finn the, the torch to be our little torch bearer, as is usually the case for the, for the weakest person in any party. is. They tend to be the person holding the light source, it's just how it works. Okay, so evasion, our evasion buff is this guy, so we'll go ahead and give him the, the, um, the cape for now. Now unfortunately we can't hold both the key and the, 
somebody must have just signed into Skype or something. So it, it always likes to do that whenever somebody signs into Skype. Now luckily, because we know that Brander is not going to have ranged weapons, we can sort of give him... Oh, son of a bitch. I don't fucking care who signed in the sky. Thank you very much. We can... essentially give him the items that are going to be... I mean, soon to be used. Okay, so we have a key now. We don't necessarily know what the key goes to. But we do know that there doesn't appear to be anything that has opened thus far, so we can sort of search for any kind of secrets. We can search for any kind of secrets. And... Now that joke from, from when I was doing the Legend of Grim Rock one. Okay, so... We're looking for any and all secrets. And hopefully we can find one or two if there are any. Because we do hear enemies, we just don't know where they are. Or potential enemies, I should say. Well, we can say that it's most likely if we run into anything in this game, it's probably an enemy that's going to try and kill us. We can't say guaranteeedly that they're going to be bad. Okay, I thought I, I thought I saw like an enemy on the side there. I was sort of panicking for a second. Like, oh no, we're gonna die. But let's go ahead and see what's in here. Some sort of spell skull, scroll, ice shards. We will go ahead and give the key to our tank. That seems to be getting closer. There is a stick, a lizard on a stick. It's a food source, we'll go ahead and give it to him. And we will go ahead and scrape our face against the walls here. What if you can open chests on the side? It does not appear to be so. Okay, it seems you have a button here. It seems to be opening up the door. Hello. animation for the side we actually need to wait for him to act. But since our heavy weapons guy is doing a ton of damage, he's able to just more or less cut the enemy down. Now we have a wand here. Wands are very nice in that they give you additional magic. So it gives energy plus five. Requires concentration of one. That's one of the reasons I took concentration early. But another one is that it lets us cast the light spell. Now, we haven't found the light scroll yet, so I'm not going to. But I'll go ahead and quick save and then jump down this pit, just in the event that it does not damage to kill anybody. So now we have his feet are injured, so he can't. So his maximum load is decreased. His legs are injured, so no energy re regeneration. And his legs are injured, so no energy regeneration. Now his legs, he is being a problem for us right now, so we need to counter this in some way. The easiest way to do this is to just give him a healing potion that will cure his his current damage. However, at the same time, we know that if we go to a healing crystal, it will heal the damage he has taken. So we will just go and do that, because we know that we're done with this area. We've already searched everything, we haven't found anything new. So we will just go back to the beach. We will... We'll go back to the beach, we'll heal everybody's legs up. I don't believe these conditions go away with rest. I think you actually have to go either use a healing potion or... 
you have to either go use a healing potion or uh, use a healing crystal. Now before I before I use the healing crystal, I will actually test that and wait, say, a day. Okay, so Roland's hungry, so he's not going to be healing. So let's go ahead and look at everyone. Let's just you know, shove food in their mouths because we're going to be going to be reloading this. Then we'll we'll give you know, a wizard defend. Now we will just rest and see if those conditions go away. I don't actually think that they will. Yeah, it does not appear to be the case that they will go away, so we will quick load and use the healing crystal to cure our to cure our injuries. So we've healed and saved, and now we just need to stuff food in people's mouths again. For our insectoid, we haven't found any more. Um, we haven't found any more. Any more fruit? So we're going to instead have him just eat some generic food. Then we'll give some meat to, and everyone seems to be happy again. We didn't waste a bunch of time, and everyone's sort of moving at full speed. Good. So we've sort of found everything that we can in this area for now. However, as we move a bit forward, we, we notice a new area. We also sort of hear some enemies walking around. Not entirely certain where they are, but I can I can hear them. Sneaky little buggers. So we have a round key that goes in a round keyhole. So we just move forward. We look for any secrets if we can find any, as we're just exploring initially. And we see what looks like sort of a walled off area here. There's some some vines there. Now, my experience is that if something's walled off, it's usually walled off by the designers for a reason. They don't want you to necessarily go there by accident. They want you to go there with a purpose. This also prevents enemies from just wandering around. So here we see there's a switch on the other side. We can't squeeze through. So we will instead look for another way to do that. We do see this button. 